find the tube in this uh, video I will be showing you guys how to display a number in reverse order for example 125 and display as uh, 521 so let's have a look this program in C++ first I'm going to explain to you and then we will going to write C++ program ok as you can see let's take number 1 2 and 5 and display in reverse order which is 5 2 1 ok so now let's see this this number has 3 digits 1 2 5 the unit tens and hundred if we have another zero then it becomes thousand unit ten hundred thousand ten thousand so now take this number one twenty five and divide it by hundred sorry for this uh, so hundred ones are hundred And remainder is 25. So, what we are going to do is write this 25 and divide it by 10. So, unit 10s 100. Now, as we can see, there are two digits 2 and 5. So, divide this by 10. And 2s are 20. And we have remainder 5. So half of our program has been solved over here. What we are going to do, so uh, you have seen that um, first you have to figure out the numbers and then you have to take, then you have to divide. For example, if there are 1000, we will be dividing it by 1000. So in this uh, tutorial, we are just having three numbers. So 100 ones are 100. So we have uh, rem remainder 25 and then we divide it by 2 then we have a 5 ok what happens that uh, let's just say that if A divided by 100 ok A divided by 100 stores this value in what happens that let's just say assume this is 125 is a value A that we declare in our program so this going to stores in a variable n so n has what happens that a divided by 100 125 divided by 100 that has one quotient write it in ok I am going to change the color a has one now now this uh, a percent by 100 you can see that the remainder is 25 so for this we are going to declare another variable which Stores that value 25. Now, so we know that M has 25. So this 25, I'm um, sorry. by 10 this 25 that value is just stored in this m it goes over here. so we divide divided it by 10 what we get is 2 
so we need um, another variable let's call that k stores the value 2 ok we need then m percent by 10 is 5 let's declare a variable ok so half of our program has been solved now we know that 125 is divided by 100 we get uh, quotient 1 and uh, uh, remainder 25 and quotient 1 then we divide then this 20 this one value we stores in a variable n and this 25 is stores in the variable m I will show you when you will write the C++ program how we did that and this k we know that m has 25 so m divided by 10 which we did in this uh, thing 10 till 2 is a 20 5 is a remainder so 2 we assign the value to um, 10 and uh, and we know that remainder is 5 so in this as you can see 1 to 5 we have to display 5 to 1 so we got 5 we got 2 we got 1 ok now we will be using this in C++ and this place I will show you how let's write this in our program we are going to declare preprocessor directive a library file I will search the screen is in three digit three digit number but this is the program for the three digit so okay now a divided uh, n equals to a divided by hundred and m equals to a by 100 so what happens that n has a 1 1 value comes at n m has 25 when its remainder is 25 it assigns this value to m so k equals to m by 10 y equals to in person 10 so we are done over here now we know that y has 5 k has 2 and n has 1 right so c out
by k n let's confirm this y k n ok guys so let's run this program oh i forgot to share Now you know that it's one two five. Let's try this. One two five. Five two one. As you can see. So let's try another number. Uh, four three one. One three four. I hope you like this video. And if you don't understand this video and you find something difficult, just do let me know. I will try to explain you more as I can. And thanks for watching this and, st and stay classy.